Hello, my name is Konya and I'm 20 and I play the piano and the violin. My name is Sheku and I'm 21 and I play the cello. My name is Almanata, I am 14 years old and I play the violin. My name is Brima, I'm 22 years old and I play the violin. My name is Isita, I'm 24 and I play the piano. My name is Jennifer, I'm 17 and I play the piano. My name is Marietti and I'm 11 and I play the cello. We're excited to do our first album with all seven of us um, playing together. One of the main aims of this album was to do an album for children and um, introduce them to some of the wonderful music that we love. For many of us, it was the first time recording. Yeah. So for, for Konya, Amanata, Jennifer, and Mariatu, it was really exciting for all of us and also to then come into the studio after being in Nottingham in lockdown. Also, it's really amazing for us younger girls that our first album was recorded in Abbey Road. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm the only one playing two instruments on the album, so I'm first study pianist, but I also play the violin, which in some ways was quite daunting because it's not my most practice of the two instruments. Um, but when it all came together, it was quite nice to get the, because I don't often get the chance to play the violin, so it was quite nice when we're all together through rehearsals. Um, I got the chance to play it a lot, which was lovely. Before um, I did the album, I knew like the famous ones, like especially this one, because Shaky's already recorded that and then like the elephant and then the aquarium. But it was really interesting when we started rehearsing and there were all these ones that I didn't actually know and then it just all came together. I was reading a book called Grandpa Christmas, which was written by Michael Morpago. And me and Michael Morpago read it together. So I was the little girl in the story and he was the grandpa. And it was a really fun experience and I enjoyed myself very much. It was a wonderful idea to have the youngest of this family um, standing beside me and telling a story of Grandpa Christmas with no pretense, no showing off, just telling a story quietly. It was very direct and a beautiful reading. He's such an inspiring man and it's also really amazing that all his books are aimed at children. Uh, so it, made, it meant that he fit really perfectly in with the album and the whole atmosphere of recording and having him in the studio was, was really special. And then, of course, I got to sit in a cubicle and Olivia Coleman was in Norfolk. She just lifts you because you know you're in good hands, you're doing it with someone who's done this and done this. And um, that confidence sort of somehow seeped through the air from Norfolk. No, it was really amazing watching Olivia Coleman and Michael Morpurgo read through their poems. It was just really inspiring to watch. Yeah, we were thinking of a piece to play, um, all of us together, that was our own creation, our own arrangement. And when we were thinking of that Redemption song, it just kind of felt the perfect thing to do because we were all listening to it a lot. And we all know the song and grew up listening to the song, of course. And we wanted to include a piece on the album, which was just the seven of us. Um, we wanted to arrange something. And we just thought that Bob Marley would be the perfect thing to arrange, it's different from the rest of the album and we love that particular song as well so we really enjoyed arranging it and playing it. Konya, Jennifer and I started uh, about a month before lockdown just kind of reading over the carnival together as pianists and then uh, lockdown hit and then we were all in Nottingham and so 
um, as the lockdown went on, we started spending increasing amounts of time rehearsing all together. Because we had loads of time. Because we had all this extra time that we didn't expect to have. So in a way that was good for the album because it meant that we could all focus solely on the album and also be all together and have more group rehearsals. Yeah, and I hope the fun comes across because it is, yeah, a lot of, a lot of the carnival is of course really, really fun. And music and a lot of the pieces we picked for the Grandpa Christmas is fun. Yeah, and the atmosphere in the recording studio while we were recording was just, it was such an atmosphere of fun and, and, and lightness and yeah, we hope mm. that comes across in yeah. the music. Yeah.